Hello everybody, how are you doing today? It's a late afternoon and here's a little bit of Floyd Kramer playing the piano. We're gonna boogie on down the line here shortly. Everything is beautiful, really. Most things anyways. Being a reseller is so much fun. I've been doing it since 2014 and I uh, sell on Facebook Marketplace. I also sell on Poshmark Canada because that's where I am. And I've been on there for a year and a half and I've had many sales. I'm trying to ramp it up right now. But mainly, primarily, I'm a reseller in my local community. Um, I do have an eBay account, but like many of you, I'm really put off by it just because it seems complex to me. But I know I, ha I have to overcome that hurdle and I'm gonna continue to think about it and work my way there. I got myself an Accutech scale, which I know I will need to be on Poshmark or to be on eBay. And um, that's a step in the right direction. Anyway, today I'm gonna finish off the purses. I did a video earlier with a lot of purses that I have on hand to list. And actually after I did the video, I listed five. So <clears throat> I'm proud of myself for doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna do purses, the rest of what I have and wallets that I have on hand and then I'm going to do my small supply of vintage clothing. So here we go with a purse, a little shoulder bag, kind of Mexican looking again like earlier today. So it's just a small one. The bottoms are good. Do you check your bottoms of your purses all the time? Sometimes it can be a bit disappointing, other times it can be very happifying. Here is a backpack, a bright little backpack. Yeah. This is kind of summery. It's a sport, the sport sack. Let's see what the inside looks like. It's nice and white. I love light insides because being older, they allow me to see better when I look inside. If it's black, I mean, I love black everything, but if it's black or brown or dark blue or whatever, it, it is hard to see um, what you're looking for. Oh, here's another cute little one. I got this just the other day at the Sally Ann. I just could not resist. Look at that hot pink interior. Isn't that darling? So I don't know whether to hold this till next spring or not. Time will tell. I'm just not sure. But it's in really great condition. <clears throat> and then the last purse is this olive green. I think it's leather. It sure feels like it. Trignanelli, Trigna, Trignanelli, Trignanello, like Jello, Trignanello. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's leather. It sure feels like it. It's a lovely purse, and crossbody. Crossbody. <laughs> I just, I have to laugh when I get a glimpse of my myself. I was saying in an earlier video, when we moved a few years ago, and we had surgeries in our family, open heart with my husband and my son, and I had other, like a couple of traumatic events happen, and I lost a lot of weight. I got really thin, so I tried to gain it back so I'd feel stronger, and yeah, it took. I gained it back and some, but I feel good. So, you know, I'd rather be chubby and feeling healthy and energetic as compared to being nice and slim and everything looks good on you, but I was just wasted. So, I'll take this. Anyways, let's go on the wallets. This is elephant leather. I hope it's not illegal. I don't mean to offend anybody either. I actually had this sold on Poshmark and then, wouldn't you know it, I couldn't find it. 
and then it appeared months later. It's elephant leather. So I got it at the thrift. Yeah. I hope that that elephant leather was gained um, in the proper way. Uh, so anyway, enough about that. I don't, I don't like controversy. So I might as well not create it myself, thanks. Here's a really pretty Louis Vuitton wallet. I'm sure it's fake. I mean, how could it be real? I got it at our local thrift in my little town. I don't see it being real. It does seem to be like cheap to feel, but this is what it says. Louis Vuitton, made in France. What do you think? Does it look totally fake? Let me know in the comments if you would, please. Thank you. But don't you love the colors? Oh, right now I am so into bright colors. I just love them. And I used to be a beige girl. This top that I'm wearing, by the way, I got it at the thrift recently. See that hole there? It was new with tags. It's 100% merino wool. It's very thin and fine. And um, I thought, oh yay, I could sell this. And then I held it up in the, in the thrift store and it's littered with little holes, and mainly around the necklines. And it's a medium. I thought, oh, it might not fit. But then I put it on and it just feels like a charm. And so now it is mine, holes and all. I don't mind holes <laughs> as long as it's wool. I love wool so much. And especially a fine wool like this. Very easy to wear. And this is pretty much my favorite color. So there's that. And uh, whoops, that's measuring tape. Coming right up. I guess that's coach, but again, like, is it real? I don't know. But I don't know, but I have held off listing it because I don't know, because I don't know what to ask for it. I don't want to lose money on it, but I don't want to um, gain, you know, in the wrong way. Yeah, it says coach right there. What do you think? I think that looks authentic compared to the Louis Vuitton um, wallet. Say this looks more authentic than this wallet. Just has a cheap feel to it, but I love the colors. Here's another Louis Vuitton. Very attractive. Doesn't look too cheap. Here's the hardware right there. If you can see it. So I think that's the end of the, no, it's not the end of the wallets. No. This one is a coach, and I do believe it's real. I have it listed on Poshmark, I think for about $20. It's just sitting, it's a wristlet. Here's another Louis Vuitton. Seriously, can you believe it? Um, pink, which is such a beautiful, rose pink color little discoloration there but nothing to speak of yeah it's really lovely what do you think i mean what is your feel for this if you have any experience with louis vuitton um if it could be real or fake it, it seems very cheap though when i'm looking at it right now it just seems like cheap plastic that's coming away so you know what, it's, it's got to be fake. It just has to be. So I guess if I go to sell it, I just market it as fake, right? As a knockoff. What would you do? Can you tell me in the comments? Well, I'm getting a lot of reflection, aren't I, from that. Oh, well, I guess it is what it is. And this 
is, it says gold rock. It is leather and it's made in Kenya. You know, I'm amazed in a town of, well, we call ourselves a city, in a city of 35,000 people, I'm amazed at the neat things I find at our many thrifts. Like most people in most parts of the world, I think people in my town, they travel a lot. And uh, yeah, there's probably a few rich people and lots of doctors and lawyers and whatnot. So yeah, some nice donations go into the thrifts. Here is, this is vintage I'm starting now, and I think this is vintage. Grafton and Company clothing, rayon and cotton. It's made in Hong Kong, which usually um, signifies that it's good quality if it's made in Hong Kong, and that would have been some years ago. <clears throat> it's kind of a burnt tangerine color something like that. And I think maybe it's a man's. Looks pretty big. Oh, this dress. Guess what? I bought this dress at a garage sale about two years ago. It's a maxi. Oh, here it is. This is the front. Mandarin collar. And it's a maxi with a side slit. And would you believe the year before I got married, which was, or the year after I got married, which was 1974, I bought this dress. I bought it to wear to, I think, a New Year's dance on the little island that I lived on. There'd be a big swinging New Year's dance every year. And I bought it at a store called Lana D that's no longer in effect in my town. It's long gone, but it was a fine lady shop. And at that time, probably there was only about maybe 15,000 people in town. Anyway, so I bought this and I think it was about $30. And I've got pictures of me in it and I guess I got rid of it. And then, like I said, about two years ago, I was at a garage sale and I see it hanging there. <clears throat> and I asked the lady, what do you want for this? And I think I got it for $5, maybe a bit more. And it, it's a smaller size than what I had because I weighed about 145 when I wore mine. So it would have been about a 12. and. I think this is probably about an eight. But anyway, it's totally vintage. No two ways about that, since I did have the identical dress. Um, oh, here's some beautiful bright colors. This is vintage strawberry. I think it says strawberry circus. Pretty small. What a flared skirt, look at that. Just for a very small woman. But look at those colors, they're just beautiful. It's another bright one. Yeah, when I see a vintage dress like this, I have to get it. And this one is Karen Ann made what's well, in made and styled in Hawaii so this to me looks like 60s late 60s or um, early 70s but it's absolutely brilliant so it's got a really nice neckline I hold things against my bust to see how far it'll stretch and this has got to be a small <laughs> it only comes part way around my my girth. And this one right here, I've had this for quite a while. It's on Facebook. And you know what? I forgot to say, I have an Etsy account and I don't work at it at all. I mean, I might have two things on there now, but at one point I had about five things, but then some things sold locally. And one item actually did sell. It was a really interesting dress and it sold to a person in, I think it was Nigeria. And, um, I mailed it there and away it went and I made a bit of a profit for sure. Um, made, might have made about $40 and it went all the way over to Africa so that's pretty amazing. That's another thing. I noticed that um, Leslie from uh, Reseller's Passion, 
she is heavy into Etsy and I think she does fine and dandy on there. So really I should take that as inspiration and, and get some things put up on my Etsy account again. I think, you know what it is? I am really hooked on quick flips locally. I could just flip things so easily and to wait for things to sell kind of gets to me. Although I do have about, I don't know, maybe a hundred listings on um, Poshmark, but some have sold. Um, but yeah, you get really used to this quick flipping, like in and out sort of thing. But I have so much stock now. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject. I have so much inventory that I really should be staying home, like all day long and listing things on every possible outlet just to move things because the thing is I don't want to quit uh, thrift shopping I love it I love the hunt I'm trying to be really selective now honest I am getting better but it's very hard when the thrift stores um, put bag day on like the hospice thrift has had constant bag days you could fill up one of their huge bags for four dollars if you purchase their own bag and it's like worth at least two grocery store bags so you could imagine how many articles you get in that bag and then multiply that doing it you know several times in a month like that's how my inventory has really come up and it's true you start putting filler what I call filler in there items that if you had to pay the full amount of two or three dollars or more if it's in the specialty section um, you'd be way more selective you might spend more but you'd come away with just what you really think would sell but when it's bag day so crazy I mean everyone does basically well no that's not fair not everyone does because I've seen ladies go to the counter on bag day with like one or two items but then there's me Charlene Islet Dreams the reseller and I'm just I think well well you know if I really get my eBay account going you know some of the ladies they have like a thousand or two thousand listings and you know and so I start thinking that way and that just <laughs> it makes me buy more so that's how I got lots of stock. Anyway, this dress is on Poshmark and it, it's out of season right now, but it is really lovely. It's a Kaiser. Everyone knows that name, I think, if you're over 40. It's a Kaiser and it's yellow, a really pretty yellow, and it's got butterflies. And I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but there are certain people who just adore butterflies. I have a lady, she buys maybe 80% of anything that I post with butterflies on it, which um, when I get butterfly stuff, I try to get it in a large to extra large because a couple of my ladies, they fit that and they like their butterflies. So, But this one is a small, uh, small size, but it's a long maxi gown and it's just, it's so beautiful on the right body that would fit it it's just it's stunning imagine going to a garden party wearing this yeah it's so pretty anyway um let's see what else before i finish off the video oh this is just a bag i was going to take the to the consignment store i might go there tomorrow animal print it's got the nice frilly sleeves no tags but I think it's a medium and then I've got a max um, blouse it's got a bit of a collar and it's got a plunging neckline that's by max yeah this is my bag to go to whispering waves I'll have to get Val to join my channel. <laughs> if she would, I'm sure she would. So if you are enjoying this video, I hope that you will like it. And please feel very free and welcome to subscribe and come back again. This is a Red Tag Levi's mini jean skirt. Kind of cute with the little pleats there. And then, oh, this is a very cute skirt. It's by Denver Hayes. Denver Hayes is Mark's Work Warehouse. I'm not sure if you have it where you live, but we have it here and all over Vancouver Island. It's very popular. They have good quality work clothing and also ladies clothing. So very cute little skirt. 
And then, I know this is a good name here, I think it's Cabby, C-A-B-I, and I'm going to take it to the consignment too, I do believe. The white long sleeve, so that should go over in the winter. And yeah, it's got the pretty little lacy frill at the neckline. So that is it. That's it for this video. We're all done. Thank you so much again. I can't thank you enough for tuning in. I do hope that um, you'll come back again. And uh, as I learn to do more in the video world, I hope that these videos will get a little bit more um, exciting. Like I hope to take you to the thrift and I take you outside and stuff like that. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching and take good care. Be safe and happy reselling. Bye-bye.